Hey guys, today I'm going to do a drugstore um, starter kit and I saw a couple people do it on YouTube and I just wanted to, you know, do one for myself and my viewers and my subscribers in case you guys haven't seen um, any other ones. So pretty much a drugstore starter kit is kind of a video um, giving, like if you don't want to spend, um, you know, a lot of money on high-end makeup for like essential things like blush and foundation and mascara and stuff you could do it all from your local um walmart or cvs or walgreens or whatever and it will be less expensive and the quality of the products is still just as good so um i'm gonna start off with foundation and i have used a lot of drugstore foundations and i've used um from maybelline the um the mousse one to CoverGirl, the, what is that, the beauty, the natural beauty stuff, what is that called? It's like supposed to be like a eco-friendly makeup or something, I don't know. Is that even all, no, you know what, I think that's all me. Um, I use uh, Neutrogena's cover-up um, liquid foundation, I mean, I've used um, Physician's Formula, and this is just the one product that I noticed that once I started buying it, I always go back to it, and I have to buy another one, another one as soon as I run out. And it is the um, Revlon Photo Ready Makeup uh, Liquid Foundation, and I am in 005 Natural Beige. You guys can see, and I've shown this in a lot of my videos. And what I really like about this product is that it's not really expensive, and it gives really good coverage. Like those days where I just have um. Like, my skin is uneven, like, just things like that. I found that this gives really good coverage. And also, a little bit goes a long way. So, if you want a really lightweight coverage, you just don't use as much. And you'll still get really good coverage and um, it'll be lightweight. So, this is my um, recommendation for people who use um, liquid foundation. This is what I found that really works for me and that I really like. Um, for powders, I used to use a mixture of Physicians Formula. And I'll show you guys. This is my Physicians Formula Powder, and this is in Creamy Natural. And I would mix it with my Prestige Skin Loving Minerals. And this one doesn't have a thing, but it's sheer fair. Um, and I would mix these two together. But what I found now is that I just... Okay, first of all, Physicians Formula, I used this since I was in high school, and I always liked it. Um, I like how the powder stays on your face all day. Um, it's mineral makeup, so it's good for you. And stuff like that. But when I noticed I switched to Prestige um, Skin Living Minerals is that it leaves a more um, flawless finish. And it's also more coverage and it doesn't look cakey. And it's a really lightweight product. So I actually now just switched to just using the Prestige um, Skin Living Minerals. And you can find these at CVS and Walgreens and stuff. Um, I think they sell it at Ulta. I'm not sure. But this is the foundation to go for. Um, a lot of people use CoverGirl powder, um, Almay powder. Um, again, if you want really good coverage or if you just use um, powder by itself, I really would go with the um, Prestige, ah, Prestige Skin Loving um, powder. And on to my favorite thing, blush. Um, I am a blush freak. I love blush. I will spend crazy amount of money on blush and if you guys see my recent video you guys saw all the blush that I bought but I have to show you guys these two um blushes that I bought um at drugstores and that work really well the first one is this you guys saw this in the haul and it's this Revlon matte blush in blushing berry and this is what it looks like um I really like it it's really pigmented it's not well it's not really showing up as pigmented because of the lighting but it's really pigmented it is, you can't really see it, but um, it really stays on and it's a really pretty color. It's really buildable, really pigmented like I said, and it's Revlon so it's not expensive and that's a really, you know, good thing for, you know, a lot of my younger viewers that don't have, you know, their own spending money like that to go buy, you know, body shop blushes or Smashbox or MAC or whatever, you know fingers are dirty anyways the next one is actually a brand new one but I really have to say that I have tried other physicians formula blushes and I noticed that I really do like them so picking this one up was just like an extra goodie thing because if you guys could see it is pink 
It smells delicious. It's a new um, collection that came out. But these are really pigmented. And this goes for all um, Neutrogena, Neutrogena, what the f heck, Physicians Formula blushes that they will all, they're a little bit on the pricier side. They're more expensive than, let's say, if you go to Wet n Wild or, um, what is it, Maybelline blushes. But this is works really well. And the good thing is that it's mineral stuff. So that's always good for us mineral lovers. As for me, I love mineral makeup. And this one smells good. So for blushes, also for people who like cream blushes, for those of my viewers who like are more into cream blushes, the one that I recommend that has really good staying power and is really pigmented is the NYX um, Blushable Cream Sticks. It's not NYX, I, I'm sorry, it's NYC. And these are like 3 or $4 at um, your local drugstore. And this one is in Big Apple Blush, and this one's actually my favorite. Um... You see, it's like a really pretty bubble pink, um, bubble pink, bubble gum pink color, and it's really blendable. It's not cakey. Um, it goes really well with all skin tones. Like for me, I'm a little darker, and it looks good on me. And my sister, who's like super white, it looks good on her. So it's one of those colors that works really well. So for drugstore um, blushes, those are my favorite. Um, for highlighters, for people who like to highlight, you know, their brow bones or their nose or whatever, I have two that I really like. And the first one is this Revlon one, and you guys can see this is in Brighton. Well, it just says Brighton, and it's a bright, um, a Revlon one. This is what it looks like. It's pink, and it's just a really pretty highlight color. It won't show up too pink. It's kind of more, like I said, a highlight color. So you can compare this to, um... Body Shop shimmer, um, shimmer Cubes or even like a powder version of the High Beam because this is really what the color, the color that High Beam is from um, Benefit. And the other one that I like if you're more into like the different color shimmer or highlight, I recommend if I could open it, the Physicians Formula Shimmer Cubes. These are super pigmented as you guys could see. I'm not flipping guys off or anything, but, and the colors will actually show up whatever color that you, um, the, the ship that you use. So these are actually, um, multi-purpose, so I really recommend those. Now for primers, I've only tried one, um, drugstore brand primer, and that's the Hard Candy Primer, Sheer Envy Primer, and this is $8 at Walmart, and it works really well. Um, for, like I said, for drugstore products, it's $8. It's not expensive compared to, um, to the Body Shop one, which is, I think, is $14. And the Benefit, uh, That Gal Primer, which is $28. So, I mean, $20 less, you know, and it works just as good. Um, your makeup sticks all day, and it just, it won't go anywhere. So, this is actually a really good product for its price. Um... The next is mascaras, and I switch up my mascaras um, all the time. When I buy a new one, I'll get over it, and then like I'll buy another one, and I'll buy another one. But the ones, the one that I just always seem to go back to is the Lash Stiletto. Since the first time I bought it, um, this is Stiletto Voluptuous actually, and it's by Maybelline. And I'll show you guys what the brush looks like. You guys have seen these when I buy new ones all the time in my hauls. It's probably my third one. And I really, really, really like it. Um, it really does give volume to your lashes. It separates them. It just makes them look really big and really full, which is the look that I like to go for. So, again, drugstore mascaras. I will probably spend money on a high-end mascara, but I won't, you know, go back and buy it over and over again. Just because I found that drugstore mascaras are just as good, if even better quality, and that's expensive. So, um, eyeliners. Next thing for eyeliners, I have three things. Um, this is a Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black, and this is my second one. And I love this stuff. It sticks. It doesn't go anywhere, and it is like really affordable. And it will last you a long time if it doesn't dry out. If it dries out, you have to replace it. But again, you could use it on your waterline. You could do, you know, gel liner on top whatever so the next thing is a pencil liner and this is also a hip a l'oreal hip liner and this is in black is black or it's just black 
And this is, I've been using this eyeliner for years, this um, brand of eyeliner. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Damn, black. So that's really good. Next is this eyebrow pencil. This is Wet n Wild. And it has a wax and a eyebrow filler. So it's a two-in-one. Your eyebrows will stay and it's like $2. If anything, it's probably less than $2. Um, what else? I don't really wear lipstick, so I can't really, you know, give you guys an opinion on good lipsticks, drugstore lipsticks. But I do have to say, I have found my favorite drugstore eyeshadow brand, and it is Wet n Wild. And I'll show you guys my favorite palette, which is one of the ones that I have. This one is Knock on Wood. I like how pretty these colors are. These are like $2 at CVS, and the color payoff is amazing. You guys can see they're super pigmented. And... That is about it. Um, my favorite drugstore um, eyelash curlers. I did buy Body Shop ones and Sephora ones and I didn't like them as much as I like my um, Revlon eyelash curlers. And for concealers, the one concealer that I always go back to is my Physician's Formula one. And I have the concealer, but I don't know where it is. But this is the correcting one for like dark circles and stuff. And it comes with three, and this is actually my favorite concealer. Um, I started recently using the Benefit Boing, but if I don't have that one with me, this one works just as fine. So, I hope that helps you viewers um, decide on drugstore products that you guys want to, you know, try out and stuff. And also for my younger viewers, which I know I have a lot, and um, it kind of gets you started on makeup and what you guys want to buy and what um, is really good quality stuff for not a big price. So with that being said, um, hope you guys like this video. The links to my Facebook, my MySpace, my Twitter, my blog, pretty much everything is going to be down below. Um, that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.